In this video, we will install the Norton Rickson 6200 Low Energy Door Operator. To get started, let's make sure we have the recommended tools. You'll want the following, including a 3 16 and 3 30 seconds drill bit, plus a 3 4 deep well socket. First, we will determine if this is a right-handed or left-handed application. Today, we are installing a pull side configuration on a left-handed opening. Next, we will measure and mark our first mounting hole according to the provided template. Once marked, drill and tap the hole. Next, we'll attach the back plate to the frame of the screw, but we won't fully tighten it yet. Now ensure the back plate is level and aligned with the door frame. Using the back plate as a guide, mark and drill the second hole. Insert the second screw and tighten both screws. Again, using the back plate as a guide, we will now drill and tap the remaining eight holes in the frame. Lastly, secure and tighten all the screws. We will now install the mounting track. To mark your first hole, first measure nine and three fourths from the door edge and seven sixteenths from the top of the door. Next, measure 19 and 1 8 over from the first hole to mark your second hole. Then drill and tap each hole. Finally, attach the track. Turning our attention to the back play again, we will now install the end caps. To do so, start by adding two screws on each end of the back plate, leaving about a 3 16th gap between the head of the screw and the back plate. Slide the end caps behind the screw heads and tighten each of the screws. Note, the three position switch end cap should always be installed on the conduit side of the back plate. It is now time to install the closer body assembly. Working in a cross pattern, install four screws holding the closer body to the back plate. You will know the closer body is in the proper orientation for pool side application when the tube is away from the back plate. Using the supplied cable management clips, secure the cables along the closer body. With the back plate and closer body now installed, we will add the power supply assembly. Insert two screws, leaving a 3 16 gap between the head of the screw and the back plate. Next, slide the power supply keyholes over the screws, allowing the narrow slots of the keyholes to rest on the screws. Note for proper installation, the narrow slots of the keyholes should always be at the top. Tighten the screws. Then plug the motor and ribbon cables from the closer body into the power supply. Note, use provided zip ties to manage any excess cable. Lastly, connect the previously installed three position switch on the end cap to the power supply. It is now time to install the arm. Using an adjustable wrench, rotate the top pinion 45 degrees toward the door hinge. Then, while holding the pinion at 45 degrees, slide the arm on the bottom pinion and attach it with a screw. Open the door approximately 30 degrees and attach the arm to the slider in the track. Use a hex wrench to tighten the slider bolt counterclockwise until the slide is tight in the arm. Close the door. With the operator now installed, let's adjust the closing force or the effort needed to manually open or close a door. To do so, use a one-half socket wrench with a three-fourths deep well socket to turn the nut at the end of the closer body tube to desired force. Lastly, we will attach the cover and the end cap label plates. Align the cutouts and the cover to the pinion shafts. Then slide the cover onto the unit using the end caps as guides. Next, snap the cover securely to the back plate. Finally, attach a label plate to each end cap by gently snapping them into place. Now it's time to program your operator. First, Turn on the operator by toggling the on-off button three times. Next, open your network settings on your mobile device and look for a network starting with NDC6200. Connect to the network using the password found inside the power switch end cap. Then open your favorite browser and enter 192.168.1.1. You should now see this page. To set up your operator, you can select Setup in the top menu bar. To continue, confirm the ARM type. Today, we are using a pull configuration. First, manually close the door and select Set Close Position. Then open door to a fully open position. While holding the door open, select Set Open Position. Next, close the door completely and select Learn to perform the learn process. The door will automatically move through an opening cycle. Be sure there is no obstruction. Lastly, refresh the browser page to confirm all steps have a check mark indicating setup has been successful. For further fine tuning, head over to the settings tab to adjust common options including opening speed, close speed, and the hold open delay. Congratulations, you've now installed the Norton Rickson 6200 low energy door operator.